So a lot of people come in with uh, pain in their quads, right? Come down into the quads or sometimes down into the groin. Usually it's unilateral, it'll come down just one side. Sometimes it comes down both. We don't like it when it comes down both sides. That's a whole different thing. But we're going to pretend that this person here on the table has a left-sided femoral nerve impingement somewhere. So we're going to do a nerve flossing technique, but it's really not flossing because we can't get her moving on both ends. It's just basically a tensioning and letting off of the nerve. Basically, you're just kind of trying to hydrate that nerve. Stretch it, relax it, stretch it, relax it. Here's the setup. Two ways to do it. I always like to do it this way, coming over with the armpit on top of the arch of the foot dropping my body weight to shorten the distance here so I can do this, grasp and come up under. One more time, set up, you come up, arch over, drop so it shortens this, grasp here, pick it up. So now you've got a really good mechanical advantage, really easy to, to do this technique. If you can't do that, come around like this, pick the leg up and come on this side. One more time, that. That's traditional way of doing it. I don't like that way. So here we go. All right. So now if I come right here and I start to, to uh, extend her knee, what am I doing? Rectus femoris and um, anterior hip capsule or something like that. But if I come up on the buttocks, anywhere on the lower part of the buttocks, right above ischial tuberosity, and I start to lean into it like that. It's still a little bit of rectus remorse, but if that feels very nervy, sharp, pins and needles, numbness sometimes, that's femoral nerve. That's a femoral nerve problem. So what you want to do is you want to really take it easy on this because first of all, their face is in the cradle. Second of all, you're not flossing it. You're tensioning that nerve. So here we go. So we come up and just check in with them. Is there any pain? Tell me when it hurts. They go, oh, it hurts right there. You back off a little bit and you don't go back into that barrier again. You come back down, so it might just be a couple inches off the table in the beginning. By the end of uh, 10 or 15 reps, you're up a little bit higher. So each time they come in, you want to just um, Take what you can get that session and come back next session for more. The other nerve, that femoral nerve, is the quads, innervates the quadricep muscles. But what innervates the adductor muscles? The obturator nerve primarily. In order to get the obturator nerve, it's almost exactly the same setup, except you come in with the hand facing that direction, and you're going to pull the leg out like this. And then you're going to come up. Again, working at barrier. Typically, you can get a little bit more um, leverage off the table with obturator, but they're going to feel it about like that, right in the groin area. They can feel it all the way in the groin down into the knee, all the way down to the knee. So you just gently, rhythmically, Checking in with your client. How's that feeling? Let's not make it painful. Over a series of sessions, do both femoral and obturator nerve, and you're going to make a lot of people happy.